Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Super short intro because I wanna get on this baby and get this workout done. This is going to be a super easy walking exercise video. I wanted to show you guys the thing that I did all the time, which is a 20 minute walk. You could make this longer, you can make this shorter. We'll talk about that in a second, but let's get on and let's do this together. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe for all things weight loss and mindset. Okay, let's get started. I'm turning on my treadmill and the first thing I do is I set it for about a 2.0 speed. So I'm gonna go up for that right now. This is gonna be my warm up. It's not very fast, but also to remember, do all of these things at your own pace. So if I say 2.0, but that seems fast to you to warm up, go down a little bit. If it seems too slow to warm up, go up a little bit. This is totally customizable, and it's really whatever you feel comfortable with. Remember, don't just follow whatever I do and say that's gonna work for me. Tailor this all to you. So, I usually do 2.0 as I'm getting my indoor walk going. Normally, when I'm down here, I'm listening to a podcast, I'm watching YouTube, I'm listening to an audio book. I use this for me time. So this 2.0 is just me getting all of that set up as I'm starting to walk. So I do that all at the same time just to get this done. Because if you're anything like me, if you're mom or you're not, it doesn't really matter. We're all super busy. So in that being said, we've got to fit this in and fit it in quick. So this is just a 20 minute quick workout you can do. You can fit 20 minutes in anywhere. Before you wake, like before the kids wake up, first thing before you do anything in the morning or do it at night before you go to bed fit it in during the day like I do, whatever works for you. So, we've been going about a minute and a half. I'm gonna speed it up now. And I've never done this before, so I'm gonna hopefully be able to talk through this. So now I go up to a 3.0, speed-wise. I'm not doing any inclines on this. This is just a walk. So now we're up at three, feeling good, getting a little faster. One thing for me is I don't hold on to the sides. Um, sometimes I feel like then my steps don't register. So I taught myself to not go so fast that I need to hold on to the side. So if I feel like I'm needing that, I just turn down the speed and that makes me feel like I can keep up with this. So now, I'm getting my heart rate up a little bit. I'm feeling it. I like to go up to my hot top speed at this point after about two minutes. So I'm going to go up to a 3.5. And this is normally where I land. This is like my peak. This is where I do my entire workout, if you will. So I'm hoping you guys can hear me while I'm doing this. Sometimes I will do this with my arms. Sometimes I'll just let them sway. But when you're watching something right here, like YouTube, or I have a TV right behind you guys, put that TV on, it kind of takes your mind off of what you're doing. And once your body gets into motion like this, it wants to stay in motion. Physics. So it's kind of easy once you get into the groove, to so just keep going with it. Oh, I love this. Okay, so 3.5 feels good. If it feels too high for you, go down. Go down by two, like 0.2. Then I feel like you can decide if that's too fast or slow, and then I always do it by 0.2 intervals. I feel like that really helps. So, as you guys can see, we're in my basement. You don't need a fancy setup. Maybe one day I'll make it look nicer if you guys like these videos, and we'll do something better. But for now, this works. I've got a little gym set up here. This is my husband's stuff. This, this is mine. So, I just love being able to come down here. And like I said earlier in the video, this is me time. So I'm catching up on an audiobook, a podcast, a YouTube video, like guilty pleasure YouTube videos, and this becomes that 20 minutes where I can just kind of escape. And there's tons of toys behind you, trust me. So my kids come down here, they're usually running around and playing. It's nap time right now. So this is like a really good time for them to run around. It's winter here, and that is mostly why I'm doing this workout. Normally, I would be outside getting a walk, which I will once spring comes, but for right now, this is where I get the majority of my steps. And then walking around my house all day long, running around and doing errands. That's kind of how I do all of the steps. My goal for the day is 10K. And when I do this exercise workout, 
I'll actually put on the bottom of the screen right now how many steps I got this whole workout. So remember, everyone's gonna be different. If you're taller than me, or shorter than me, you're gonna get more or less steps. If you go faster or slower, that will impact the steps as well. But if you're doing this with me, how do you feel? It feels good, right? So for me, I know I'm talking to you right now, but I'm like breathing a little heavy. 3.5 is good for me. I feel like I'm breathing heavy, but I can still talk. So I feel like whatever that is for you speed-wise, do it. Don't try to push yourself, but then also challenge yourself a little bit if you feel like you can go faster. So what are we at now? Right about the five minute mark. So I also wanted to say, if you made it this far, awesome job. Seriously, so proud of you. If you feel like you can just stop right now, go ahead and stop. And I'll tell you why. It's more about consistency than it is about perfection. If you feel like five minutes was enough and you're good, hop right off right now, pat yourself on the back, and aim to do another five minutes tomorrow. If you're feeling, if you're feeling frisky, do six minutes tomorrow. But don't feel like you need to get it all done in one day. Especially if you're just starting, take it slow, because then you will actually stick to it. Trust me. A couple of years ago, I was <laughs> forcing myself, basically, this is a long time ago, this was like 10 years ago, I was forcing myself to get on the treadmill that we had at our old house for an hour. One hour. Someone who never worked out, and I was, I was overweight at that point, so I was like, oh, I have to do all of these crazy things in order to lose weight. None of them were true, but one of them was getting on this IE treadmill for an hour and walking very fast and not holding on. And I was like torturing myself. And then if I didn't do it the first day, it was all or nothing done. I was done doing that. I was done making that a goal. So now I have totally different priorities when it comes to getting on this thing, getting my steps in, making it about me time, and just having fun with it. We make it into a family event. If my kids come down and play, I'm on here. You know, it's just, it's just how you think about things. You gotta think about things differently. And if you're finding that you're not wanting to do something that you know you should do, like get steps, think about it differently. Whew. Feeling good right now. Right about seven minutes. Apple Watch is going. My heart rate right now is around 100, 110. And we've completed 0.3 of a mile. So, feeling good. Feeling really good. As soon as I'm done with this exercise, I'm going to mix up my electrolytes. So let's talk about today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Element. They are probably the, my most favorite part of my day because they're an electrolyte powder mix. They come in single servings. You can mix them up anywhere. On the go, at home, after a workout, first thing in the morning, before you go to bed. And I love them because you can drink them in your fasted window. So if you guys didn't know, I get them in it fast. You can drink them during your fasting window, which is my favorite part. They're paleo approved, keto approved, and low carb approved, which makes it perfect for me. And they have a science backed electrolyte ratio, 1000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium. So it's so necessary to replenish your electrolytes. Even just me doing this walk, I'm dehydrating myself. Anytime you sweat, you're losing sodium. We've gotta replenish that so that we don't feel those electrolyte deficiency symptoms. They can be anything from like fatigue to just overall feeling blah, like low energy, headaches, muscle cramps, all the things. So the cool thing about this is that Element is giving anyone who orders from them a free sample pack, which includes their most popular eight flavors. You can try them all, see which one you like the best. Existing customers, new customers, it doesn't matter. All you need to do is go to drinkelement.com slash heart. I'll put it right here on the screen. Drinklmnt.com slash heart, H-I-R-T. 
I'm feeling it after that. <laughs> Thank you again to Element for sponsoring this video. Oh guys, feeling good. I don't know if it's because I'm talking, when I normally am not talking this much. Like I'm yeah, I'm talking to my kids, but I'm not like trying to hold the conversation. So what I'm gonna do, I feel like I'm breathing a little heavy. I'm at a 3.5 right now. I'm going down 0.2. So I'm bringing it to a 3.3 speed. That feels a little bit better. This is the cool thing about this. Do what feels good to you. There are no rules. And if there's no rules, but we want rules, we make the rules. So make any rules you want and make this fun and something that you're gonna wanna do tomorrow. Whew, feeling good. Like I said, I'm not inclined. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, to be honest. But this is the exercise, 20 minute walk that I did two times a day when I was trying to lose weight and I couldn't get outside for a walk. I would do two of these a day and it was perfect. It helped me get up to 10K steps per day and it was amazing. These are normal, that was normally done during the cold months, but then once I can get outside, that's all I want to do is be outside walking. Whew. Can't wait to have that element. I don't know if I'm gonna do orange or watermelon today. I think I might do orange. If you know Tang from when you were little, it's so good. That's what the orange one tastes like. So yeah, people always ask me, what flavor do I get from Element if I just wanna try them out? Pick your favorite flavor. So if you like orange, get that. If you like chocolate one is really good too. I know people make hot chocolate out of it or they put it in their smoothies or their coffee. That's a great one. There's no sugar in them, so they're just really good. They're just like salty, like a hint of the, of the flavor, and you can dilute it. If it's too strong for you, just add more water. But um, yeah, I can't wait to have it. I think I'm gonna do orange. Whew. All right, guys. Whoa, we're almost at 12 minutes already. I should film myself every time, because this is going by really fast. <laughs> Faster than when I'm like watching YouTube. Whew. So this walk, I'm thinking it'll probably get me, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm hoping for like a mile, maybe. But we'll see. It just depends how fast you go. Whew. But yeah, the best part about doing this at home is that I don't have to drive to the gym. Having a treadmill is like literally the best thing ever because if I have 20 minutes during nap time or whatever, if I have five minutes, I can throw my sneakers on, run down here, hop on here, get it done, and be back upstairs in two seconds. <laughs> so it's really good. I would highly recommend, if you don't already have a treadmill, grab one. They have pretty affordable ones on Amazon that I always recommend. I'll link it in the description box below the video. You just, just grab it. I know a lot of people too that keep these in their garage and they just run out there and do a quick workout. In my old house, we had it in our, like, well, it was a dining room, but we didn't really use it as a dining room, so that was like our little workout area, and it was perfect. Because it folded up, so this one does too. They fold right up, and you can like slide it into a corner. So, highly recommend if you are a person who likes getting steps, doesn't necessarily want a gym membership just to get steps, grab a cheap treadmill. And then if you like it, reward yourself an upgrade. But at first, you don't need anything fancy. Just get something that has the treadmill, you know? But oh, I know I'm gonna get questions about the sneakers that I'm wearing. So, I've worn all different kinds of sneakers. These are my favorite by far. These are the Skechers Deluxe um, Walking Sneaker. So I'll link them below. You can get them on Amazon. My sister just got the teal ones that I'm gonna link. They're so cute. They're so cute. And they're cheaper than the ones that I got. I got mine at Kohl's, which by the way, if you do go to Kohl's, you need your coupons on them, which is nice. So, these are great. They feel like you're walking on a cloud. I'll link these in the description box below too. Ooh, how are we feeling guys? Are you still with me? We're almost at the 15 minute mark. So we're almost there. Almost there. I'm really loving this video. If you guys are liking this video and me talking you through this, definitely give me a thumbs up down below. Right below the video, there is a thumbs up and a thumbs down. Hit the thumbs up if you like this one. And comment below if there's if there's any other walking videos you would like to see from me. Um, I could do a walking in place video. I could also do a longer video. 
Um, I wanted to start with the 20 minute one because I feel like that's a good middle ground for anybody who's wanting to start out or wanting to just have a friend to chat with as they're walking. So whether you're watching this on the treadmill with me or maybe this is motivating you to get out and go take a walk, whatever, it doesn't matter. I just hope you're enjoying this one because I really am. This is like getting my endorphins up. It's making me feel really happy. It's the best part about walking. Oh, I did a whole dedicated video that just hit 1 million views here on YouTube, all about walking for weight loss. I'll link my playlist down below for my walking videos, but I feel like this one's gonna fit right in with the other ones. Oh, I just love it. Whew. So, if you've made it this far, let's do this. Let's finish strong. We're almost to the cool down. I do a little bit of a cool down at the end of all of my workouts because I feel like getting you started in the beginning with the warm up and then adjusting the speeds as you go during the workout, making sure your heart rate feels comfortable, and then just keep on keeping on. And then we do a short cool down at the end. Whew. Oh, this feels so good. This feels good too that I'm home. You know, like no one's watching me <laughs> at a gym or anything. That's cool if that's your thing. It's just not my thing. Either this or outside when it's warm. I'll take one or the other. But like I said, guys, you don't need a fancy setup. I mean, just film me downstairs. But don't feel like you need the perfect situation to start a new healthy habit. This should be the testament to that. Just start. Consistency is more important than perfection. Just continue to do it every single day. You might not be able to do 20 minutes when you first start, but trust me, in a really short amount of time, you're going to work up to that, and then you're going to want to do longer. But you've got to start somewhere. I started, well back in the day I was making myself do an hour. That didn't work. So when I first got back into this, and I wanted to get my steps, I had a low step goal when I was trying to lose weight after having my babies. And I was only doing 5,000 steps a day maybe. And now I worked easily up to 10,000, and that's my default now. Have to get that. And then I feel better, I feel good. All right, 17 minutes. We're doing it, guys. And if you needed to stop, that's fine too. Pick up where you left off whenever you're ready. Later today, tomorrow, the next day. Whatever feels good. But proud of you for even trying and even doing it in the first place. That's all it takes. Step, 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 step. One foot in front of the other. Do what makes you feel comfortable. And maybe you don't want to stop completely, but you're finding it hard to keep up. Lower that speed. Lower it to whatever feels good to you. Who cares? No one's watching you. No one's going to know. Who cares? Do what feels comfortable for you so that you can be consistent. Ooh, feels really good. I'm loving this, guys. This might be my new favorite video to film, because it's double duty. <laughs> I'm filming, it will be very easy to edit, so I'm not really cutting much. I don't think I'm gonna cut any of this. We're just gonna be, you're in real time walking with me. I love it. So we're at 18 minutes now. I'm gonna let it go for another 20 seconds or so, till I get to 18 and a half minutes. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm at 3.3 right now. I'm taking it down to a 2.8. So now what I'm doing is I'm slowly bringing down my heart rate. This is like the cool down period. If you wanna go for longer, keep going. All power to you, you know? Do whatever feels good to you. Whew. This is the time when you can start really breathing again, like taking those deep breaths. My heart rate is definitely coming back down. Feeling good. And then I just hit 19 minute mark. So now, in the last minute, I'm just gonna take it down to 2.6. I always go in those 0.2 increments. You can do more, you can do less. Whatever, it's, it's your world. You make the rules. There are none, but if you want some, you make them. We're almost done, guys. Just about 30 seconds left and we will have finished our 20 minute walk. 
and the battery on my camera is gonna die. So <laughs> it's like blinking at me. Let's see if we can finish out this walk strong and not have to go get a new battery. So proud of you. If you did this with me, awesome job. Awesome job. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This went by super fast. If you were watching this from a motivation, get out there and kill it, crush it. Do whatever feels good to you, always. Lead with that inspired action and what feels good to you. Woo. Three, two, one. We did it, guys. We did it. So yep, I hit 1.07 miles. I did about 72 calories, this is saying. 20 minutes. Whew. I'm feeling so good right now. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. I'm gonna go mix up that electrolyte powder. Please like this video and comment below if you wanna see more just like this, like a workout with me. I loved it. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.